Hi, and welcome back to another tutorial with Mr. Petromo. Today, we are going to continue on our series on Relay, and we're going to learn the next couple of um, tools and toolbars that are available to you if you have Relay by Lightspeed monitoring your Chromebooks. So on the screen, I have my fake student and my um, fake classroom. So I have connected to that Google Classroom, and now I am going to monitor my students. Now, this has been a tricky video to set up because I've tried to record several times with real students, and it is just a nightmare to try to uh, blur out every piece of information, and it's just been so difficult. So I decided to go back to the fake student account so I don't have to worry about blurring anything. It ends up being much easier that way. So you see on my screen, I have my student, Trevor TikTok. He's in my room. This is where you would have listed down below Trevor TikTok. All of your students' names would be listed here. You can switch this view to the heat map view, which give you, gives you little squares of all of your students on the screen that you can watch at once. And you can also click this show all screens button and you will be able to monitor their real screen. It takes a moment to connect. And if you have a lot of students on at one time, it will lag your computer out. So this is not just for everybody. Make sure you have a decent PC running this or a decent Chromebook, and you shouldn't have too much lag. If you experience a lot of lag, just turn it back to list view, and you can do everything you need from there. You just won't have that nice preview square. So I'm going to click on Trevor TikTok and see what he's doing right now. And this gives me a large screen that shows me this YouTube video that he's watching, Naughty Trevor TikTok. So I have a few options here. I can lock his screen. And what that will do is that shows which student, I mean, uh, which teacher has locked that student's screen. So the students will see your name when you lock it. And then you can call them up to your desk and have that chat or whatever you need to do for classroom management. And then when you're done, you can unlock that screen and let the student carry on. Um, you can also, if they are, have a trick that they want to show the class, you can show their screen to the entire class. And everybody who's in this classroom group will get to see that. So it's kind of nice. And then here's your stop button. When you're done, you just click the stop button and you are stop, stop sharing. Also, if you have a student that you've given several warnings to and they just don't seem to get it, you can record their screen right here. Now, this records a small 10 minute clip. So it gives you a good classroom management tool. If you've called the student up to your desk and said, you know, YouTube is not appropriate right now. You should be doing your work. Then you can click that record button and walk away from that student. And then you can go back to, and then you can go back to that student later and you can find their recordings right here. And any recordings that you have will be listed in a, in a row right here. Now from this tab, I'll do that again so you can see it. All I do is click on the student once and I get an enlarged preview of what they're doing right now. I can also change to their browsing history. So I put the student on just a few minutes ago just for this demonstration and I opened up a few tabs. So you can see what all I've done and you can see the timestamp that goes with it. Recordings will be listed here, but I have not recorded anything on this. And then you also have the send message feature button that's right here that's really handy. You've got three presets for need help, are you done, and great job. Or you can send a custom message and say, hey, you know, and um, really send your custom message. And when you send that, it pops up on that student's screen. Now, you won't be able to see it because it's a little pop-up down in the corner. But it's not attached to this browser. It's actually attached to um, the Chromebook. And it's just a pop-up in the bottom corner that they'll get to see. And it, it kind of goes over anything they're working on. So it's noticeable. But there's, there's a chance sometimes that they don't notice it and they skip past it. Now, I've asked this naughty student a couple times to turn that, that YouTube off. If you scroll down, you will have a list of all the open tabs down below your preview. Again, all you do is scroll down on your screen, and here are the list of open tabs. From here, I have this little, nice little X button that will close that tab for the student. So if I've asked the kid a couple times, no YouTube, and they still get are sneaking on YouTube, I can close it right there. That closes that window and forces the kid onto another tab. So then the kid 
and you can watch live. I'm going to switch them. Then the kid can go on their coding assignment and do what they're actually supposed to do. And you can kind of keep an eye on them. If they make a new tab, you'll be able to see that too, new tab. And then if I go back on YouTube, you'll be able to see that YouTube. And we have a lot of our YouTubes are, are blocked here. So let me find one that won't be blocked. And so you can live monitor that student back on YouTube again. And if he does it again, you can come back down here and close the tab again until uh, the student finally um, decides that it's in his best interest to do his work. All right, um, I think that's about it. Browsing history, I did show you that. It doesn't, sh it doesn't save a whole lot of the browsing history, but you can also change the date. I did not show you the calendar. So you can open up that calendar and go back and see last month on March 10th, what was the browsing history of that student or February 10th. And you can go see all of the internet um, history hits that were happening on that Chromebook. So um, that's about it. That's all I have to show you for this time. So I hope you enjoyed it. There's one more relay tutorial coming out for you. So keep an eye out for that. And as always, if you enjoyed this, um, like and subscribe to my channel and keep an eye out for more tutorials. Thank you very much and have a great day.